the student mall log into the student portal. They would click on the current students tab, go to the exams tab and click the e-assessment information. Students will then navigate to the practice papers on e-assessment page. At the end of this page is the link to the Sirius platform. In order to access the practice paper exams, students will need their username, which is their student email address as per the student portal and password, which is their student number. Students will have two practice papers for the CAP2 financial reporting interim assessment with two attempts at each paper. Once a student logs in and starts the assessment, this is counted as an attempt, even if no questions are answered. Once logged into the Cirrus platform, the list of practice papers available will be displayed. Once the start test button is clicked, the introduction page for the exam will appear. It will include the amount of time allotted for the exam, which is 90 minutes for the CAP2 financial reporting interim assessment. Students must answer all parts of this assessment. If students do not complete their exam within the allotted time, their script will automatically be submitted. This assessment is auto scored. Alpha characters, currency symbols and commas to separate thousands are not required and should not be input into the answer boxes. Answers should be rounded to the nearest thousand, as indicated. Numbers should be entered without decimal places. The student will then need to scroll to the end of the introduction page and click on the green start assessment button. The exam time will only begin once this button has been clicked. The left side of the screen contains the section narrative. The right side of the screen shows the question. For each section, students can expand either the section introduction box or the question box by moving the mouse in the following way. Students can also click on the arrow for the text box to pop out, giving them full view of the answer template and the section text. The text can either be increased or decreased by using the A plus or the A minus button. Students can flag a question. If they are unsure of their answer, they can highlight the question to remind them to return to that particular question. The student will need to click the flag button again in order to remove the flag. The overview button can show the student the overall questions answered and which questions have been flagged. This is located at the bottom part of the screen. Students can skip to different parts of the exam. They can navigate easily through the questions without having to continuously click the next button. For the CAP2 financial reporting interim assessment, the complete exam paper can be viewed by clicking the resource button. For this assessment, students can keep the resources open continuously throughout the exam when answering the questions. Resources can be maximized to full screen by clicking the maximize screen icon. Students will use the template provided to enter figures.
students can use the tab button to move to the next row. Currency symbols and commas to separate thousands are not required and should not be input into the answer boxes. Answers should be rounded to the nearest thousand as indicated. For example, if an answer is 249,860, the student should only input 250. Or if an answer is 15,000, the student should only input 15. Numbers should be entered without decimal places. There are no marks awarded for workings. Once the students have completed their exam and wish to submit it, they will need to click the complete assessment button. If the student runs out of time, the exam will automatically be submitted. Two notification pop-ups will then appear. Click confirm and then finish. Students will then need to click the next button to view their script answers. This is only available for practice papers and not the live exam. Students will need to compare their answers to the suggested solutions on the Chartered Accountants Ireland website. Click the results tab to show all questions and student answers. Then right click the mouse and print or save to PDF. This PDF or printout can then be used to compare to the suggested solutions. The Institute will be keeping the e-assessment resource pack up to date. Please remember to check this page for any further information.